Hello, hello, beloved. I hope that you're doing great, feeling blessed and highly favored, Aquarius. We're going to be looking into your no communication love scope. In this reading, we're going to be getting the scoop of what's going on between you and your special person, your person of interest who you have no communication with, who you have very little communication. It almost does not exist, okay? So overall, we're going to be looking into this person's energy, what's in their mind, heart, external energy, blocking energy, as well as what this person wants you to know, and next possible actions, if any, and of course, um, where they feel that they stand with you currently. All right, so Aquarius, do know that this reading is done with a lot of love here for you to give you clarity, mind, heart, body, soul, and spirit. Along with healing, thank you, thank you, divine, thank you, universe. Okay, let's look into their overall energy, please. And please do note that this is not a personal reading. Take whatever resonates, whatever doesn't apply, let it fly. So if for any reason you want to look into your other placements to see more of the tea here, feel more than welcome. If you're not resonating with the read, please look at your other placements as well. Okay. All right, within well, their overall energy, we have them here with the Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. Heart space, we have them here with the Ten of Wands, okay? And within their mind space, we have your person of interest with a Four of Pentacles. You are dealing with a very stubborn person. Right away, we can see this. All right, external energy, please give us the energy. We have justice. So there is divine orchestration, divine order here with the energy that we bring in here. Queen of Wands is the blocking energy. Hmm. All right, please give me here the energy. What this person um, feels that they need to express, what they want you to know, please. Thank you, Spirit. All righty, and let's see where this person feels that they stand here with you. Ten of freaking pentacles. Oh, no. We have them here with the ten of swords what we want to express. And next possible actions. Aquarius, who are you dealing with? You're dealing with a stubborn ass person. Okay. No, 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 no. Right away, I'm going to tell you here. I've had different reads. Of course, everybody's read is going to come out very differently. But you're dealing with somebody who can be very arrogant, very hard-headed, okay, not wanting to change their ways. Here with whatever they offer, they want to communicate here with you. Okay, one more, please. It will also take bottom of the deck. So this person has a lot of attention. You were talking to somebody. Uh, having a connection in the past, things died out because this person obviously had many options and they were kind of weighing out whatever they, is that they needed to, who they wanted to invest to. They were definitely not going to choose, okay? Um, with their energy night of uh, cups, we have seven of pentacles, nine of cups. So they have their cake and ate it too. The situation, but they're not feeling good about it. Now they want to see where you stand and where you are bringing in this energy to the connection here. They have not really heard or had so much good action when it comes to the six of cups comes in here, the reverse. So there is, there had been a potential energy where the two of you could have worked things out, but this person held off to not reconnect. And right now it does seem like they're struggling with not accepting that this connection is not going in their favor at this time, okay? They're not as motivated and still wanting to. We had the motivated wanting to come in the reverse. Uh, give me this energy here, please, where they stand, where are they waiting for? The potential to move forward, waiting for a new cycle to begin or just waiting here for the opportunity here. With the Nine of Cups, that is... a energy of arrogance where we're feeling that we are way too much the blocking energy comes in here where somebody feels like their shit don't stink they, they have a bad energy very attractive but it's like at the same time it is not helping them right now 
um, they have a little bit too much of an ego boost where it's not in a good energy space where we have silent treatment is the most positive outcome in this situation at this time. But their mind space, this person, we have four pentacles here, and that's about not wanting to change the way of that they're seeing things or not wanting to meet eye to eye or not really looking at where they were faulty in this connection. Okay, because we have here in this mind space, they know that they were talking to other people while they were trying to spend time together with you as well. And they miss the video chats, the calls, the exchange of messages. And um, they look looking at what you made them. They're looking into how they started feeling connected to you, how they were falling for some of you in love with you or how they were feeling the connection here very strongly. It's like now we have you versus them, which is them is the other person, the other people here. Because in the energy, <clears throat> clarifying this with them missing your video chat, missing the calling here, they're still holding on to the connection, especially here. There was some sort of heartbreak here. Okay, and then what it seems like it's, it's, I don't see karma yet stepping in, but it will be coming in, especially with justice here. It does seem like this person wasn't being as honest as they should have been. All right, within the energy where they have you in the heart, they have you at the 10 of wands. So this person in the heart feels that they need to move on, move forward, take some sort of action, and this action feels heavy to them. It's like they're so stubborn, not wanting to take a hike of whatever they need to do. When we have a, a 10 of wands or any sort of situation where there's a new cycle beginning, it's not exactly the end of a situation per se. It is definitely where we need to start from a fresh foundation. Doesn't mean that this person has to be completely out of your life. Yes, for some, it definitely does mean that. Let's see with this three of swords. Why did we have this three of swords? And then we'll look into the Ten of Wands. What is in the mind here? What is in the mind here when it comes to the Three of Swords and them not wanting to change? What was that about? Achievement and good fortune here. Them feeling that they were not going to be as successful as they were with the other person. And here's like, now they can't leave the past behind. What is not allowing them to move forward? Unfounded fear and preparing for change. So they're stubborn. They don't want to change right now. Like, and they might not feel that there, is, that there is any fault to anything that they've caused. With the 10 of wands and their heart space, it feels very heavy. They're going to be moving. There will be movement or some sort of coming together. You hear from this person in around Sagittarian uh, season here. But with the 10 of wands comes in here, learning and training, end of a learning cycle. I'm telling you, there has to be a renewal when it comes to this situation with this person. Why is this person feeling here the 10 of wands? What did they do to that? Um, what did they do to Aquarius place that they know that is weighing heavy on them? What did they know that they did to Aquarius concealed? This is a concealing the truth, concealing um having secrets, hiding themselves, not having boundaries, not drawing the line, not being respectful. And this is about them now feeling trapped and how to get out of this. And we have pride, ego, stubborn love, arrogance in the bottom of the deck, okay? So now let's look into the situation here with them feeling that there's so much tension, they're stressed about whatever can turn about here. Uh, can I see the Ten of Pentacles? Why do we have the Ten of Pentacles with the energy for this person? Aquarius person of interest, person they have not had communication with. Why do they have what they feel they stand with you? Ten of Pentacles. They feel that you want them. Like they're, you, the two of you may have spoken about looking great together, going out. have had a lot of history, a lot of things in common that the two of you would look or work, would work great if the two of you would invest in this. But this is telling me that they were not as honest, okay, as they should have needed to be, okay, with you. There is a new direction, a fresh start, 
that they want to have here and they feel that you are the one like now it's like really trying to come forward feel here with them a situation that didn't work out for them so now they kind of want to shrug that under the rug and that definitely does not go here because even thinking about you is bittersweet let's look into the bottom of the deck with the message here um we have this state behind so it's i'm pretending to be happy with them but all i want is you we have i'm not enjoying the time i'm spending with the other person so this person has not completely let go of some other sort of connection doesn't mean that they um started a relationship they could as might as well have something that is non-committal but yet you know it, in, exclusive between them um here with the ten of swords where this person wants you to know that they're stressed the hell out okay they want to hear from you they want to know what's going on with your life I mean, more so what this person wants to express here to Aquarius I am not as financially stable as I may seem here I am not financially stable enough to give you the life that you deserve. A karmic partner is stalking me, stalking us, be aware. So, and the karmic partner is the person that they're dealing with right now, okay? They are definitely guilty of also spending the nights think, thinking about you so, so much. Um, please, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Sagittarius, you may be dealing with Sagittarius, sorry. Um, Aquarius. Um, if you are enjoying the reading, like this type of reading, want me to continue doing so because I'm trying to do the readings that you guys are enjoying or are wanting me to, you know, have on a monthly basis. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, so please let me know with a like. All right, you can definitely comment, but don't feel drawn to if you don't want to. Okay. So definitely this person is getting lost in the memories. I'm getting lost in the memories. And we have them here screaming. Don't forget about me. Okay, one more message, please. This person wants you to know you found out something about me. Charlie, okay. I'm hearing, I'm I think this is the Selena song. I'm sick of the same old love. Okay, I don't really listen to Selena, but that's saying sick, sick of that same old love. You'll know. Okay, Google it. Okay, so let's see. Two more messages, please, with the. Okay, Aquarius, your person wants to also let you know. I replay our conversations over and over. I will wait for a sign from you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. And my life is not as together as it seems. All righty. So next possible action. This person is not ready to take any actions whatsoever. Even if they want to, they still got a lot to work on. Okay, uh, give me a clarifier for the two of swords, the sun, and seven of wands. They need to bring in clarity and truth and stand on it before they come in here. There will be a lot of emotions coming in. There has been a lot of tears, things that definitely have happened in this connection. When the sun comes in, yes, I already know this energy. For most of you know that this card is about happily ever after the happiest card in the tarot but for me my beloved this card is about the sun coming out it's time for healing it is time to expose the dirty laundry and all this stuff so seven of wands stand on your word honor whatever you got to say and nine of pentacles that's somebody who needs to come in single um somebody who is also spying on you who will keep tabs on you and whatever not comes in here five of pentacles all right so we have someone not being completely honest and the lovers a time for complete healing here so um it does seem like in the future there will be some sort of coming together talking about things but there will be some sort of a breaking point that this person is going to go through before they even um can come forward they might be a little sneaky poo okay they might try to come through we do have the queen of swords but the queen of swords is always not the nicest to come in and express something to us. All righty. So Aquarius, I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for that like button. If you like the reading, like I mentioned before, 
And until next time, beloved, namaste.